The surgical skin prep is performed immediately before the start of surgery after the patient is anesthetized and positioned. The surgical site and a wide area around the site are cleansed and painted with antiseptic solution. Skin cannot be sterilized, but the number of bacteria can be reduced significantly with antiseptic cleansing or a coating of antiseptic on the skin. Only antiseptic agents approved for use on skin may be used for the prep. Five antiseptics are commonly used for the surgical skin prep. Iodophores, chlorhexidine gluconate, triclosan, parachloromedaxinol, alcohol, Before the surgical skin prep is begun, all supplies are gathered and placed on a small prep table near the patient. The skin prep is completed using aseptic technique. Sterile gloves are worn and supplies are sterile. Manufactured sterile prep trays are available and contain all or most of the supplies needed to perform the skin prep. The skin prep follows a prescribed protocol. Before prep is begun, the prep kit is positioned on a small table and outer wrapper opened using sterile technique. The sterile outside wrapper is folded down over the table and a sterile field is created. The sterile prep gloves are applied with open glove technique. Prep solutions are poured into a basin and all other supplies are placed on the table. When more than one procedure is planned during the same surgery, the circulator must prepare each site separately using a different prep setup for each site. Surgical sponges are reserved for surgery and not to be used for a surgical prep. Each one must be accounted for. Surgical sponges have a radiopaque or x-ray detectable strip. Prep sponges are white and do not contain a radiopaque strip. Used prep sponges are discarded according to facility policy to keep them out and away from the sterile field. Before prep has begun, the operative site and surgical procedure should be validated by the surgical team. There are two methods of prepping. One method is to use antiseptic soap solution followed by a coating of antiseptic. The other is with antiseptic solution alone. The type of prep used is based on the surgeon's preference. During procedures performed under regional anesthesia, it is important to respect patient modesty and provide a brief explanation of the procedure before starting the prep. The skin prep starts with assessing the prep site before the prep begins. Any lesion or disruption in the skin must be documented in the patient chart. If the prep area is grossly contaminated with dirt, debris, industrial chemicals, or other foreign material, the site is cleansed as a separate procedure prior to the surgical skin prep. Organize the prep supplies on a small table near the patient. Don sterile gloves using open gloving technique. Place two or more sterile towels on either side of the patient to catch any prep solution that might pool. When placing the towels, make a wide cuff in the towel to protect your gloved hands from contamination. A small amount of antiseptic solution is poured into the prep tray. Dip a prep sponge in the antiseptic solution and squeeze out any excess. Use one sponge at a time to perform the prep. The prep is performed in a circular pattern, starting at incision site and moving outward. As the area of the prep is extended outward, do not bring the sponge back to an area already prepped. As each sponge reaches the periphery of the prep boundary, 
discard it. Any area that is highly colonized with microorganisms, a contaminated area, such as a colostomy, skin ulcers, or a foreign body, is prepped with fresh sponges after the surrounding area is prepped. Following the scrub prep, a sterile towel is used to blot the skin. In two-stage prep, antiseptic solution is applied to the surgical site after the scrub prep. Fresh sponges are dipped into the prep solution and excess squeezed out. Beginning with the incision site, prep solution is applied in a circular motion from center to periphery. The same principles used during the scrub prep apply to this stage of prep. The prep solution is allowed to air dry.